Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you're gonna be. I think you're gonna be seeing a lot of. Uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, hexes on the like mines on the ground mm -hmm. and in the air. Yeah, the future sites. Yes, yep. there's a future site. You're gonna see a lot of future site in this matchup, I believe, because that actually it basically makes Libre either one have to go in the air, which makes it easier <coughs> to predict, or if you put one in the air, they have to approach you on the ground. Unless they just yeah. unless you play one of those Libre players, it's just like I'll just do it. All right. Anyway, anyway here we go. Again. Getting into this. Nice counter. nice counter attack. This should be some solid damage right here. Going for the stored power com combo into those fairy arrows. That's going right, to be one see. big thing, though, is uh, Libre does have that double team. Yes. But one thing Gardevoir does have is that uh, protect. So yeah, that, uh, I think it's Dazzling Gleam. I could be completely wrong about that. Is I, I'm Gardevoir is one of the few characters I just know barely anything about. And there's those fairy arrows almost taking the round already. That's a nice, oh. out, nice counter. <coughs> That's a pro show taking that first round rather convincingly. Very convincingly indeed. Like uh, he has been out of the game for a few months now, but uh, it's not really showing. Not showing right now, he's put in some <laughs> solid work to get reacquainted with the game. So uh, I'm happy to say happy to see him back because we just do not I'll say have going that. for his signature Rotom combo. Yeah, definitely. He loves his Rotom combos and it's very solid. Leads him into that Electro Web. Pretty solid nice. damage Electro there. Web again. And another Electro Web. God, I cannot wait until that gets. Oh, went for another grab. Nice counter. <laughs> I cannot wait until that gets patched. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> nice double team. There we go. Bughead striking back. Very strong nice right air, now. Nice air dash mix up right there. Oh, he tried. He really did. Yeah, I could tell he was going for the grab at that last possible moment. Mm -hmm. Now it's in. All right, you got to set up the zoning game now. You can't let him in. Oh, nice. Nice beam. I say putting up the hit. Oh, Finnegan. Uh, it's not going to be able to get hit by this, though. Oh, yep. Fen Finnegan still pushes him back a little bit. But we do have. Oh, no. Oh, he goes for a nice. reset. This could be bad. Oh, he oh, goes for the 2X. The, the 2X went through the synergy burst. Oh, and and Frosho still has his burst, but he doesn't nice even counter. need it. So, yeah, there we go. Frosho ends up taking game one. rather con Again, rather convincingly. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't uh, even look like he's been away from the game from that long. Yeah, really. Uh, like uh, Bughead has a very good second round going there, but uh, Frosho just... He just held held strong and just made a, made a great comeback. Yeah. Also, another thing I noticed is like even with the game, if you because I I also stopped playing the game for a while too, <laughs> but also I don't own a Wii U, so that yeah, kind of helps. But that doesn't really help you. <laughs> yeah. So in general, like one thing I realized about Pokémon is that once you just start playing with your characters again, mm -hmm. it, you start getting back into just the swing of things. The game is that the game is actually not as punishing if you haven't been playing it for as long. Yeah, yeah, it's not like it, it's not like I, I think some tr most traditional fighters. Oh, three counter attacks in a row! I said that shield was crying for a second. <laughs> oh, and went for the side switch. Nice, he needs that wall. Oh, definitely. I yeah, say, the okay, worst spot for a zoner to be is with it back against the wall. All right, gonna put him right oh, there. You go. Nice. Keep him, keep him locked down. Don't let him move. Good Fennekin. Fennekin to go through that. Even if it was on block, gets him off of him. Nice hovers to get over that. Side steps to counter. Nice. Very good use of that stuff. Hey, Hale, how's it going, Eltiana? Shout out to Eltiana in the chat right now. Be sure to go check out her, her streams whenever she does. She's a very solid guard, nice. uh, guard chomp player here in North Carolina. That is very unsafe on shield, but he oh, does wow. not do it. I thought, that, I, thought that I thought that hit clean. That's flash. Mm. Going for the Rotom. Uh, uh. Oh, nice and the Electro Web. X Electro Web. <coughs> oh wow! Oh. Air, that's an air counter, right? Yeah. Uh, that. Oh, that is just. That is a. Oh, EX Electro Web thought. again. So much damage. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Wow. Like, what is Gardevoir supposed to do against that? Yeah, I mean, you just have to hope he can tech that. <coughs> Again, very unsafe on shield, but just not punishing it, but it does still work out for her. Yes, keep him out. Keep him against that wall. 
Yep, just keep. This is the best place. A uh, contradicted. This is the best place for a uh, zoner to be. I don't know why he's approaching oh, so wow. much, but that good Going two. Going for the meaties. Mm, that there is not a lot you can do there unless you have like a ton of freaking invulnerability on your use back. The oh, he tried. He really did, but the Fennekin just That's was out too long. That's like burst. All right, here we go. All the damage. Oh, uh, he just drops it. Yeah, oh, going for the mine for Oki. Whoa, behind him. Just outside the uh, barriers of the just, stage. You could have just thrown out Super right there, and that would have worked. Oh, uh, I guess he heard you. Does end up blocking it, but a ton of chip damage. Oh, Joe goes for the 8x, the expecting the uh, that, but the slide comes in strong, and Frosho ends up taking that 2-0. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Definitely right. good stuff for him. All right, Frosh, go ahead and stay there. Definitely a good yeah, showing. Very, very.